Hey, what is up, guys? I am Ref Dresseros2013, and today I have another requested video, and that is the CB09 Tune Up Gear Metal Ref Cork. <coughs> yeah. So you can see Crossfight Beatemon, Takara Tomi, Gen Gen Hobby, uh, Gen Gen Hobby, WBMA, and it, it really isn't a model kit. Because they built it for you. Description of the metal ref called the trigger, which is the same. There you see the metal ref called again no power block, so you have to supply that by yourself. Uh customization, here's the metal ref core, another description and again. Shot shot shot. So warnings and D rights and uh barcode. And the Gen Gen Hobby Machine. So, just like the Metal Force Core, cut tape on the four sides here, then you slide it open, taking the core out, putting the trigger together like that, then once again, this opens up, show you the warnings, not to shoot at each other, don't shoot the wall even though I do. Uh, I think this is, don't draw on the marble or don't throw it at someone, or don't leave the marbles on the floor, don't use broken marbles. Here, you put the spring in, although it's already put in, they put it there, they put a power block and then put, 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 put screw, screw, tighten, and then, yeah. And a little hole, WBMA. So, uh, this background will drop sooner or later. But yeah, here is the metal ref core. Compared to a normal ref core, you can see this really is better. So, I'm just gonna take the cores apart. For this, I can do it because uh, the this part can be removed, unlike the metal force call where it cannot be removed. So, anyway, we get to the whole parts here. You can see this is the one from the metal ref core. These spin more freely, so allows faster rapid fire. Yeah, and these, uh, if you turn it like that, you can see, uh, you can see some remaining parts from your model kit, so that can sometimes be annoying, and they don't spin as well. Unlike these, where you flip it like that, you see it's flush, and they spin very well. Yeah, so the that is the whole parts. So getting to the back parts, these two are the same thing, just a different color. And I personally I prefer this because too shiny. So just put that there. Like that, and put the metal ref core whole parts here. So getting to the triggers, they do have a difference, and that is just the barcode. If not, it's probably just these things sticking out. And now if I compare it, they don't have a difference at all. They are the same thing, but I'm just gonna use each trigger for each respective part. So, one with the barcode on the normal ref core, and no barcode on this core. Like that. Okay, now we get to the final piece. This is where majority of the difference comes in. This is definitely heavier. You can hear the sound when I drop them. And, yeah. 
So this is like plastic and this is really metal. And uh, partly the reason is because you can see screws here, here and here. This screws in this metal piece there. Unlike the normal ref core, where you keep rapid firing, this thing eventually comes off like that. And you might lose the rollers here. So it's very annoying. So, putting this back together, I'll show you an example. Take my device hit, put that on there. You can see that device will sort of push that out there, like that. See, he pushes it out. So, that is very bad. Because, uh, your, these will probably come out. And if you're wondering, yes, emblems do work on the ref core. I mean, metal ref core. Emblems. Like from the S series, yes, the emblems do work, so yeah, in case you are wondering. So, anyway, putting back the metal ref core together, this thing looks nicer than the other ref core, so that is nice. Bring the stupid background that is probably gonna fall in the next five seconds and just put on parts. Well, I don't know why, but my bolts here are very loose, so I can just screw them in without a tool and screw them. Yeah, they seem to fall off during sometimes. But, yeah, can get over it. The leg parts are the ones that are the tight ones. So, there is Metal Ref device with no power block. And no, I'm not going to use this because I tried using it before. And looking at this tab here, like I explained in my Metal Force Core, you can see that there are lines across there, going across. Now I can see where this is going. It's going to be the same as my metal axle core. Let me get it. It's gonna be like that, with the little tap stuck in there, so... I couldn't get it out, so I had to buy a new core. But if you're wondering, yeah, this is very tight, so that's why I'm not gonna put this on. Instead, I went on to buy a stabilizer, and yeah, it fits on perfectly well. And yeah, just realized I have not compared the power yet, so. Stabilizer sticker is coming out. So just put the power block on this guy. Take two Vidamas. Right now I'm currently in love with these light blue Vidamas. But very weak. Ravcore. Ravcore is the weak one. Now where did my Vidama go? Whoa, it broke through this hole here and went behind, but whatever. I have more. <laughs> so, yeah, quite weak. Well, metal wrap device. Yeah, it's very powerful. I mean, not very powerful, but at least more powerful than uh, the metal ref core. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that uh, the metal adds more friction, which equals to uh, more power, and yeah. And because of these rollers, they spin more freely, it adds more rapid fire. So, 
me just try to rapid fire. Grabbing a system magazine. Taking some Bidama. Loading it up. Dropping Bidama. You know, I'm gonna be a lazy ass and take that big down on that. So, now let's go and rapid fire. 3, three 2, 1, B5. Yeah, so, definitely increases rapid fire from the previous one. And yeah, so. That is the Metal Ref Core. I highly recommend you buy it. And yeah, it also fixes the problem with your Ref device. So, this has been Ref Dresseros 2013. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.